This next question comes from Matt through email. It says, Pastor, if I pray for another's healing in Jesus' name, shouldn't they be healed? And why would that work sometimes and not every time? Matt, I want you to know that healing works every time. The thing that we have to become aware of is when and where a healing takes place. There are times when you pray for healing in Jesus' name and you see an instantaneous healing. There are other times when you pray for healing in Jesus' name and the healing comes through a process. And then there are times when you pray for healing in Jesus' name and the person you pray for passes from this life. But that does not mean that they're not healed. The Bible says that when we get into the presence of God, that every sickness, every infirmity, and every kind of weakness is gone, which is an absolute and total healing. We have simply changed our existence. Talk about a blatant logical fallacy. That was awesome, right? Uh, so sometimes God will heal you, and other times he'll make you suffer, and then he'll heal you, and then other times uh, he'll heal you by making you pass away. Okay, that's the most obvious fallacy I've ever seen in my life. He's set it up so that it's non-falsifiable. So you're defining being healed as dying, getting sicker, or being healed. God, these guys are so silly. But who could really believe that? Who could hear that guy and think... There it is. Just my, my thoughts exactly. I was thinking the same thing. Uh, so, of course, let's cut out all the bullshit. The definition of somebody being healed is obvious uh, that if they get sick and then they're cured. They don't have a problem anymore. They wake up the next day after they pray to Jesus and, oh, yeah, it's gone, right? Now, uh, if you use that as your definition of healing, which is the only definition of healing as far as rational people are concerned, in a five-minute Google search, I was able to find 34 cases where people died because they chose faith healing over Western medicine. In fact, there was a family recently that had one kid that died because they didn't take him to the hospital and they tried to faith heal. And then they went to court as a result of that. They received probation. And then they had a second kid who died of theirs because they tried to faith heal again. Okay, here's why what he's saying is completely dangerous, right? Because, of course, you and me listen and we think, well, this is nuts, this makes no sense, and, uh, I mean, this is comical, right? But you have to understand, there's been multiple polls which should set off red flags in anybody's head because, uh, for example, anywhere from 25% of the population to 40% of the population, 25% thought Jesus was going to come back in the year 2007. 25%! That's crazy! Uh... I think it was 40% that said Jesus was going to come back before the year 2050. Okay, so 25 to 40% of the country are lunatics. And they might hear Hagee say something like this and they go, yeah, you know, last time I went to the doctor, uh, I got sicker when I came home, or I didn't like the guy, he was an asshole, or it's a hassle to make an appointment and, and go there, I got a long busy day, yada yada, whatever reason they could rationalize and they think, I'll just pray instead because Hagee tells me uh, no matter what, God's going to heal me. No, that's scary stuff, man. 